Generations of Preston's engineers have used this chief engineer's desk for which I salvage as we clear out our offices. The business started in 1847 and this desk is built in 1960, made of mahogany, flamed mahogany. Watch as I restore it and bring it back to its former glory. So, I've just got my huge uh, old family desk and um, I think the first thing to say would be that I've had it valued, so it is uh, it's valued at £300, not the 40000 I was uh, thinking, ooh, could be. Um, so that's important because that means that I'm now going to be able to do the work and I'm not going to actually give it to some professional company. If it was valued uh, a lot more, I would not be doing this. Um, so I am a brave amateur. So I think um, if you've got something similar and you're a bit, you think maybe this is actually worth something, uh, I would get it valued properly. Uh, my valuation report came back as oversized, too modern and too distressed to be worth antique value. So it's 1960 which is, uh, is obviously not old enough and it's an absolutely huge engineer's desk. So um, while it's beautiful to me, it's not beautiful to the world. It's got a nice lever insert. Um, and it's seen some damage, it has seen some damage, so I'm just going to carry it back up. What I'm going to do now is sand it. Going through the sandpapers from a really rough grain uh, P40 down to something more fine, like a P120. Alright, let's go! Just using this sanding block with the edge on it to get into these cracks here. What I've got here is a bit that, uh, a divot, it's a big divot that I've now filled with uh, wood filler. So I'm just going to sand it off. I'm going to use colouring pencils because the um, felt tip markers were just not the right colour. Don't need to um, use a scraper and warm water, but just pick it back. I'm going to just clean it down with some isopropyl, um, some denatured alcohol. I'm trying not to breathe it in because so it is that strong, it'll probably send me high. And then pipe it up. First layer of oil is 100% pure tongue oil. Use a little free cloth to wipe it in. Very fine sandpaper today. Oh, look at that, it's perfect. Oh, I'm just going to rub with the grey. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just look at this shine we're getting on here. Now, while this is still wet, I'm going to get my fine sandpaper. Sanding. And now I'm just going to finally wipe up any excess of this new shot towel. Oh, absolutely. Look at the honey rich gold of that wood. Oh. Um, when you put the oil in and you sand the oil into the wood, it raises the grain and when you touch it, it feels rough. But, as you can see in this area, it looks a bit lighter. I'm just rubbing it down with this scotch bread. It gives it an almost bit of a white glaze. But then, that's smooth. This is the difference. Okay, desk knobs. These are the ones that have um, been made for me by uh, Mr. Atkinson. Um, this was the how they came. Really nice. You know what? Oh, they smell absolutely amazing. 
think he actually got mahogany right to match mahogany and it smells divine. I've put some tongue oil on and this is how it's come out. Um, I've not put oil on the, uh, on the bit that I'm going to stick to the drawer, but that's how it looks with the tongue oil on. So, and actually you can see that fits the colour of a desk once it's been oiled. So, so excited to get these fitted. On pure interference fit, absolutely perfect. <laughs> I've got it any any closer. So now that I've sealed um, and filled in all the oh, a fly, um, filled in all the holes and all the um, the slivers of wood that the old leather uh, pulled out when I pulled the old leather up. Oh, smell it in the packet. Fifth coat of oil. As you can see, it's all been filled in with wood filler. This is where there were some splits in the wood. So I'm now just using a, a cutting mat to cut the leather. Nice sharp knife. Wood adhesive. says you can just use your hands um, to spread this on and leave it for about 20 minutes to set and then buff it out. Uh, I'm going to just use the cloth to put the initial on anyway. I might bother getting waxy hands, I seem to always have messy hands. Mm, it smells nothing. Okay, so fresh cloth, time to buff it out. Just 